Hey, how's it going everyone and welcome back. You're watching VR Gamer Dude and I am Don and today we are going to be taking a look at a couple of Oculus Quest 2 accessories that I have been finding super useful lately. So I want to thank both Rebuff Reality and Relahas for sending out the items that we are going to take a look at today. They have really both made a huge improvement to my Quest 2 in you know, multiple different ways. So the first thing we're going to take a look at today is the VR Power 2. Now this is the second iteration of a battery bank that Rebuff Reality has designed pretty much specifically to work with the Oculus Quest, uh, which was the, the VR Power 1, and then now we've got the VR Power 2, which I believe will work for either, but pretty much mated to the Oculus Quest in design and you know color and everything like that. So, what do you got here? Well, basically it is a huge battery bank that's gonna add some weight. So on the back here you can see over six hours of additional playtime, over 10 hours of additional video streaming, so super useful if you're like me and you want to use AirLink with your Quest 2 to play some of the higher end PC VR games. And it's going to act as that counterbalance, like I said, so it's going to give some weight to the back of the headset that allows it to kind of pull away from the face and kind of lessen the pressure on your cheeks and your brow here. So uh, in the box, I have already opened it. We're not going to do a traditional unboxing here, but I will kind of show you what's in the box. Uh, we have the uh, VR Power 2 battery bank, and like I said, that thing has definitely got some heft to it. It's got uh, three little built-on straps that are meant to go on your um, Oculus Quest 2 standard cloth strap or the Oculus Elite strap. Don't know that I want to put any extra weight on those because, well, they all tend to break. So um, in the box here, we've also got another little cable management clip, um, the USB-C cord. The box uh, also has a couple of little stickers and a, and a, a little card. So uh, not really much in there, not really much we can say about a battery other than does it work? Yeah, it works great. I mean, I have been using this with my Quest all week long, and man, let me tell you, one of the worst things to me in the world is when I am playing, or especially when I am recording for you guys, and I lose power in my headset. This, I never lose power anymore. I mean, it's literally like once the, the Quest 2's battery drains, this thing kicks in, and bam! Man, you've got so many more extra hours of playtime. Pop it on the charger, it charges pretty quick. It's also got an extra accessory port here, so you've got actually three different ports here, one for input, one for the Quest 2, and one for your accessories. So, very cool. Also adds a little lighty bling to the back of my Quest 2, making it look cooler in my opinion, because who doesn't like LED lights, you know? So. On to the second product here, and that is going to be the Relahas head strap. Now, you you heard me mention the, the elite straps from Oculus, they suck. I'm sorry, they, they do. I've not seen very many people say that they didn't have one that broke. I've been using this one extensively for almost a month, and, and guys, let me tell you, this thing is solid. I mean, it is completely sturdy. Uh, it totally, totally makes this headset feel super, super solid. Also has a uh, battery bank insert here, so let's say I use my old battery from my uh, Vive wireless kit. I can literally just pop that baby in there, slide it down, and we're going to get somewhat of a similar effect to the VR power there. Um, adds a little weight to the back of the headset, balancing it a little bit better, and uh, it's going to give me extra power when I need it. Now, would love to be able to put this on the back. This is removable, but unfortunately the straps don't line up correctly. This is only going to be useful if you have the original Oculus cloth strap or if you have one of those breaking elite straps that Oculus tried to push on all of us. So not really much more I can say other than I really like both of these products and if you are looking for a good quality head strap, something that doesn't feel cheaply 3D printed, something that definitely looks injection molded and, and really adds some value 
and some usefulness to your Quest 2. I'm gonna throw links for both of these down in the description, guys. I highly recommend both of these products. They have solved tons of problems for different various reasons for me. Um, and I think it might solve some for you too. But for me, that's gonna do it today, guys. Thank you so much for watching to the end of the video. If you made it this far, you know that means the world to me. And if you're already a subscriber here at the channel, you've heard it a thousand times. So I love you. Just keep doing what you're doing. Like the videos, share them. Let's talk about it down in the comments. If this was your first time coming by though, and you liked what you saw today, which is highly unlikely because this was a shitty little mini review, uh, go to my main page, check out the rest of my videos. You might find something in there that interests you. I've got videos going all the way back to the good old days of the DK2. Um, and after you do all that, if you liked what you saw, smash subscribe and ring that bell, guys. We're getting close to the magic 10,000. I, I, I can't believe it. We are at 9,300 plus subscribers right now, and I owe that to each and every one of you. So thanks for coming by every time I do a video and checking out what I do. I, it really means the world to me, guys. I cannot tell you how much I love you. So that's it. Love Fest is over. I'm out. I'll see you in the next one. This is Don signing off.